we're live. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Defining Radio. Class is in session tonight with the Queens of the Move Retreat. Let me see where my head is. Um, I'm your host, Valencia Griffin Wallace. Hopefully, I'm not having too many technical difficulties tonight, but y'all just bear with me. So when you get here, go ahead and say, hey, boo, like, love, and share the video. We are joined, and I'm going to let the queens just kind of run down who who they are. And, um, yeah, so we're talking about what weighs women down. What weighs queens down? What breaks the queen? All things queen tonight. So if you are a queen, go ahead and um, definitely say, hey, queen, in the comments. So first up, we got Queen Shannon. Ward, you guys know Shannon from the hot seat, so it should be a very interesting show. <laughs> Here Queen, she goes. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience? Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Um, of course, again, as she said, Shannon Shadon Ward, a uh, singer, songwriter, author, speaker, co host of Define You Radio Hot Seat. Um, and the founder and uh, creator of the FLY movement, which stands for Finally Loving Yourself. And yeah, I'm excited about the move retreat. I'm excited because I'll tell y'all why I need a break when we get breakdown into why queens need a break because I really need a break. I'm going to tell you about it though. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yep. Guys, I think it's going to be one of those kind of nights but another thing I want to let you guys know is way off uh, Define You Radio is partially sponsored by Swagger Magazine. So you need to visit swagher.net and say Define You Radio sent you. Um, it is woman owned, queen owned, and we are great, uh, greatly excited. I'm just making up sentences now to see what the partnership between Define You Radio and Swagger Magazine brings this 2019, the year of collaboration, which Brings me to uh, my hashtag EQS moment. This is David. Go ahead. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Monique Denton Davis. I am the founder and CEO of Embrace Your Cake, where the cake stands for confidence, attitude, kindness, and excellence. I am a certified life transformation coach and a career coach the co-host of the MOVE Retreat. I am extremely, extremely excited just about everything that's going on. Um, I'm also an author and just and uh, co-host of the MOVE Experience, which was in uh, last year, at the end of last year. So if you heard anything about the MOVE Experience or if you attended, you know you definitely need to be at the MOVE Retreat. But yes, we'll get into that later. Hashtag amen. Uh, and I'm very excited now. We have Queen Ashanti in the quote unquote waiting room, so we'll bring her on after a while. But we are joined by a very special guest, and literally, I text her, I was like, Look, we're going on Facebook. I need you to hop on it. You know? <laughs> so, uh, Miss Angela Malone, y'all saw her beautiful picture in our room retreat. Mean, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Miss Angela go ahead and introduce herself. Introduce yourself to the people. Good afternoon. Um, good evening. I am Angela Malone. I am um, founder and owner of Innovation Counseling Center. I'm a licensed mental health counselor. I am all about women issues. I love empowering and. Um, dealing in women and, and and their issues to getting them to a place of, as I say, transforming and breaking free. Mm. That's All right. Just break free. Have yes. Men, if y'all need to break free. And look, this all, now this show is not going to turn into a free counseling session. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dropping little comments for the therapy um, below. However, if you we we brought Miss Angela because she is going to handle the group therapy, which is going to be interesting. Yes. Now, I think we said on our last video what happens in uh, 
Jacksonville stays in Jacksonville because, you know, most of us haven't been to there, but I think everybody needs it, especially when we're talking about why, you know, women need a break, why queens need a break. So um, are you ready, Miss Angela, to handle all the uh, emotional vomit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of them. I am ready. <laughs> I am ready. Yay! So, uh, Queen. So we'll kick off with Queen Monique because I want to talk about the weight women carry, and if you want to talk about some of the weight that you carry in 2019 and why, you know, hosting this retreat is important. So hosting this retreat, and not just me, I mean, when you think about the weight, can we just talk about the different titles that we have, right? So we're moms, we are, um, some of us are caregivers, we're partners, we turn into nurses, doctors, lawyers, confidants, right? We are a little bit of everything to everyone and not so much of, you know, those things to ourselves. And it seems like, and I'll speak for me, and I'm not going to say that I suffer from the superwoman syndrome, but I suffer from always wanting to make sure everyone is okay. And I tend to feel that if they're okay, if everyone else is okay, then I'm okay. When actually that's not the case, because what, how much did I have to give, right, of myself to make sure that everyone is, is okay? Um, I think it's a role that women play, not just women of color, I think all women. We have this superwoman syndrome where we want to make sure that we take care of our families. We want to make sure everyone is good. Um, I'm looking forward to the retreat because having all those roles and then in addition to that, trying to be an entrepreneur. I mean, let's just look. You have all those titles and you're a career woman, right? You have all those titles and you're a wife and you're a mother, but you have all those titles and you're trying to find this work-life balance, which is a myth. I don't know if y'all agree. If there's any look, if there's anyone out there that has work-life balance, hashtag that in the comments, and then you're gonna have to tell us about that at the retreat. Okay. Yes. Um, but I'm extremely excited for the retreat, and I'm excited for the group therapy. And what's important about that to me is that sometimes, in order to move forward, there has to be some changes, right? Mm -hmm. There has to be some transformation, and we wonder why we can't move you know, for ourselves. We can move and help other people, but I think until we get to that moment of realizing what it is deep inside that's keeping us stuck, um, and I think that's where the transformation comes in and the therapy comes in, then it's really difficult. So this retreat is not just going to provide some strategies, but help women to see, you know what? You might need a little bit more um, than just self-healing. You know, you might need to seek additional help. You might need to speak with a therapist. So that's one of the things yeah. that I'm excited about, bringing, those, bringing that to the forefront of everyday women doing extraordinary things, but not really extraordinary things for themselves. You know, yeah. getting to that, how can I really dig deep and start to be my best self so I can, you know, still do the work for everyone else, but put me first. Hashtag amen. I love it. Um, our favorite viewer, Sam Jackson, is back. Hey, Sam. How you hey, doing? Sam. Sam, we still don't have any men yet on the show, but it's, it's coming. I promise it. I promise. Um, I just had to throw that out there because he asked us about that last time. He did. <laughs> Queen Angela, what would you... What can you add to what Monique just said as far as the uh, the therapy and women wearing so many hats? Well, as she was talking, all I, all I envisioned is a woman packing her suitcase. Mm. And in that suitcase, you know, when we start packing, I don't know about you all, but when I pack, I pack a lot of stuff because I need to know what, I don't know what the weather's like. I don't know what shoes I need to wear. But just think about how much stuff we pack in bags every day, but we don't unpack it. Mm -hmm. So that leaves us just packing on stuff, packing on more stuff. And then that's where the imbalance comes from because we don't have time to just sit and unpack our stuff. Um, so um, it's kind of like she was saying, you, you work 
because uh, I'm the same way. I work seven days a week. <laughs> and then sometimes you'd be like, well, where is my time? Because I got to make sure my daughter's in school. I got to make sure boyfriend is taken care of. So, you know, you got to find that me time. And I, I'm, I'm excited for the retreat because I'm like, how, how often do we get to that point where we can just be to ourselves and treat ourselves? Mm. That's important. You know, as therapists, we always talk about self-care. Sometimes you ask yourself, well, what does that mean? A lot of people will say, oh, I can go get my nails done. I can go get my toes done. But self-care is so much more than that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look, can we talk about the bags? I'll just show my, and I love what you said about unpacking, right? So this is my everyday bag. This is my pocket. No, 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 you're doing it. Look, why? Okay. And then every day, like Angela said, I'm just throwing stuff in, <laughs> and just throwing stuff in there. And I don't take the time at night in the, or in the evening to actually unload or unpack some of that stuff, some of that junk. And it just, you know, and it's interesting because you talk about volunteer well, the load, right? So my shoulders. Okay? Oh, I, I was getting ready to say that your shoulder. Exactly. And I'm like, you know what? I, it's time to start unpacking some of that stuff. So, so thank you for that. And I think that that is something that a lot of us, and it doesn't matter how small your bag is, if we want to be honest, right? How much stuff do you actually put in that bag that you don't take out? Mm. Quick shout out to um, one of our Atlanta by way of DC, by way of Atlanta, either way. Um, <laughs> Marcus T, he's at Starbucks, and Star, I get the notification, and Sam says, you need a briefcase. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, don't let me go to the other room, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out some other bets. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> You gotta love Sam. Sam, did you share the video while you telling us to get a briefcase? You don't want to see my baby. <laughs> Sam, so, so what you saying is, uh, Monique shared with us her bag. Queen Angela shared about, you know, us not unpacking it. I know you were having flashbacks of our trips to Atlanta where I overpassed. Overpack is an understatement. Um, she, she was prepared for World War Three, Four, Five, and Six, um, <laughs> and that one big bag. Now, I understand being prepared, but I, I I didn't understand. I was like, wait a minute, is this an army bag? I don't understand what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know. Your car was weighed down. You would weigh down. It was just really a whole lot going on. Really a lot. But I wonder, I wonder if what does if, if that says something about the weight I carry every day. Hmm. Mm. Queen Queen Angela, that was your cue. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I want to go. <laughs> you know, sometimes um, we often tell people if you look around your house. Your house is going to determine the clutter you carry in your head. Amen. Sometimes, though, people who are perfectionists still have a lot of clutter, but it has to look presentable on the outside so that nobody mm. knows what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. So mm. nobody knows what it looks really yeah. is going on on the inside. So mm. it's, still, it's still clutter. It just looks like pretty clutter. Look at look at Marcus Keith being messy in the comments. That's why it's a women's retreat. We Don't do him. My uh, presentable clutter. Um, tell me more. Um, I would be interested to hear hear your thoughts about some of the weight, some of the weight of the crown. You know that crown gets heavy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. 
I mean, the other Monique and and Queen um, Angela pretty much hit on it. It is it's aside from. Let me just go here. Let me go here. Let me go here. I think sometimes, and I'm speaking from a single woman's perspective. Sometimes I feel, especially trying to to build a business, trying to raise a child on your own, try to do all these things like that crown to me is a totally separate crown from the crown of a married woman with a home and husband and all of that it's like now that we we have some similar weights that we carry but at the end of the day there's still some things that you're like you know financially in a in a in a married home you know you have somebody to share that burden with financially i carry that burden alone so that's you know so that's a, a heavy crown on me so there I mean, just everyday things, everyday things, you know, getting the car fixed. You have a husband. Hey, honey, come get this. And he'll make sure it's done. <laughs> me on the other hand, uh, well, let me go get my daddy. And if my daddy can't do it, it's, hey, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to go figure it out. So, you know, it's just, it's, there are a lot, a lot of different crowns that different queens have to carry. There are a lot of things that you know some of us are, are caregivers for our parents or things of that nature and that is a heavy crown that is a crown you know that 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 you can't seem to just take off at any given time and and i mean we've hit on a lot of it and i'm un unpacking that baggage is one of the ways but at the same time too this retreat is definitely something that we need um and i don't know if it's a part of the retreat but i i would personally turn my phone in somewhere because these the, the phone and all of the connections to all of that going on those are weights those are heavy on our crown we got to check our social media can, sometimes can be a weight on your crown because you want to make sure that you're you're staying in, in the people's face you're making sure that you give you know especially if you have a group that you have to run if you have this that you got going on you want to promote your event all of these things trying to run businesses your home your children you your your peace of mind your mental sanity try to to stay fit and healthy and do the right all of that becomes honestly it becomes nerve-wracking it, it can become nerve-wracking and a lot of times women especially as queens we shut down internally and nobody ever can really tell because we're not allowed to show it we don't have the time to show that I'm I'm really jacked up right now inside and I want to scream I want to pull up my hair somebody better come get these kids before they be found hanging up in the closet so I'm, you know just just all kinds of stuff but we can't do it we have to keep going and while it does show the strength of a woman sometimes I think I, sometimes I think that the we forget the strength needs to be renewed we need that we need to be replenished we need to be revived and we keep going and keep going until it actually starts to show on our face it shows in our body it shows in our health and only thing we say i'm trying to you know make my life right i'm trying to live the life that i want create the things but are we killing ourselves sometimes doing it by not taking a moment mm -hmm. to get back to us right Right. You know, if I could just add in, Shannon said something so key, and I think that it's something that we'll probably get to um, during the group therapy, but something that I think is important that we, and we talked about it in the last um, broadcast, but when you, you know, leave your cape at home, and we don't want to be vulnerable, right? So we don't mm -hmm. want to say, no, I'm not okay today. I'm just not, have you ever called someone and said, today is not a good day, I'm not okay? And a lot of times that's because we don't want to look like we're not okay because that's not how we were raised. You know, that's not part of our value. Um, and we also have difficulty asking for help. Mm. This is true. You know, we don't want to ask, okay, can you help me? You know, literally call up a, a friend, a sister, a queen sister. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to refer to hashtag what I was thinking about it. Um, you know, I, I just feel like it's 
not the right thing to do. We're not supposed to show any signs of weakness. Oh. Um, Woo. <laughs> but, but what? I'm glad you said that word vulnerability because that is a especially in women. I think we don't understand that word what that word really means. Vulnerability mm. does not always mean that you need to be vulnerable to somebody else. Sometimes you need to learn to be vulnerable to yourself. What that looks like is I sometimes got to give myself permission to say, I can't take this load. I can't take all everything that I'm doing. I have to give myself permission to cry. <laughs> I have to give my permission to lock myself somewhere up um, in a closet or in the bathroom and just do some woosahs and um, some meditative moments. So I think that's the piece that we think vulnerability is I got to wear my feelings on my shoulder or on my sleeve. It's not that. It's really, I got to learn to be vulnerable with myself and then I'll be learning to be vulnerable to other people, with other people. Mm Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing. We should have charged for this Facebook Live. That's true. I want to give a shout out to Queen Ashanti because for some reason I guess she had she's having issues in a waiting room, but she's on. And um, Queen Dynasty, thank you for joining us. She put she has learned that it's okay not to be okay, and I'm learning that that's something hard for for me. That's why I know I need the retreat. And um, when me and Queen Monique was talking about how we wanted it, I was like. You know, people could go to a business retreat anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do a whole business retreat or whatever kind of retreat. But our intention was to design something that we that we needed. So so that way it was almost like everybody in attendance, we're all co co you know what I'm saying? Because we all need that. Queen need a break too. Hashtag amen. <laughs> I know that's right. I need I a break. My head, I'll be good. Y'all got me excited for the um, group session. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for the group session. But and it's look, it's only three of us right now. It's the way so all the women come together, and it's like okay, but um, I think every situation that we talk about and we bring to the table is relatable to all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even. Mm-hmm. Shannon talked about having, you know, a different load. We all have different loads, but different load being single and, and having to worry about things financially and things like that. And, and sometimes I look at things like, you know, look, marriage is a little overrated, okay? Because I don't feel like making dinner every night. Um, <laughs> that's a load. <laughs> we don't us on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> He's downstairs. He's not gonna watch this broadcast. He's like, not again. Another. <laughs> 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 that low, right? Because when I get off, I'm gonna be like hungry. But. <laughs> but, but you know, this is just real. It's just real stuff and real talk, and that's what I love about the queens coming together because we have an opportunity at the retreat to just, you know, just be us. And, and be real and be authentic and be transparent and be vulnerable um, to ourselves, like Angela said, so we can really get some techniques and learn how we can begin, begin to heal and be better. You know, we want to come back better than we came. And I, I know that this retreat is going to do this. I have such a good feel. I mean, I'm ready. I'm excited. There's so many different good things going on. And just for, and you said it, Valencia, um, last week that Friday, the group therapy is really going to set the tone. Saturday. It's, right, Saturday is going to set the tone. Imagine if we can just start unpacking. Saturday, we start unpacking. Look, we'll be ready for the wine tour. So. <laughs> yes, God. Hey, the therapy session is before the wine tour, right? Because if it's after, woo. 
<laughs> yes, because we might need one. We might need to go to the wine and after we do right. all the talk and get all that out. <laughs> exactly. So um, it's I'm ready. It is going to be such a great um, you know, you know really 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 absolutely. So I am going to bring Queen Ashanti up because she in the waiting room looking like they playing games. <laughs> uh, Queen said okay. I'll drop you down and then bring okay. Ashanti up for a hot minute, okay? Yep. Queen Ashanti, welcome. Hi. Hi. Look, we've been clowning, so you better you got to bring the energy up. The retreat is May thirty first through June second in Jacksonville, Florida, and you guys should be able to see the link. It's bit.ly slash move retreat twenty nineteen. Um, there's therapy, wine tours, and a whole lot of extra involved. Queen Sunday, we talking about what. Um, what you got in your bag that's weighing you down? And I'm paraphrasing what Queen Angela said. What do I have in my bag that's weighing me down? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, um, at some point, I was holding everybody else's stuff. Um, mm. I allowed people to make their emergency my priority. Mm. And so I started unloading, unpacking that. Um, so my bag is not as heavy as it used to be because I've learned um, how to say no to things that are not in alignment with my vision and um, yes to me. Instead of, I, I found that I was not on my own list. Mm. Mm. Um, I put myself on my own list. Um, as a matter of fact, I put myself at the top of my list. Um, so now I'm grinding for me because I'm, I I figured out that I'm worth it, you know? So um, I'm learning how to unpack things that that are outside of my wheelhouse, outside of my control, um, things that are not my responsibility, people that um, are, are like... Um, you know something you know when when um when rockets go off there are these boosters at the bottom of the rocket and after the rockets get so high the boosters have to drop off because they're just added weight they no longer have value they're just weighing down the rocket so i've learned how to drop off the things that are no longer beneficial and that they are literally adding unnecessary weight and it's um it has the potential of jeopardizing me going to um, a higher level so that's where i am with that awesome i congratulate you because <laughs> a lot of people don't get that concept of making yourself a priority I oftentimes use the analogy of the, the airplane. If an airplane crashes and they tell you when you get on the plane, um, if a plane crashes, who is the first person you put the um, the oxygen on? On yourself. On, on yourself. yourself. Yeah. See, the thing is, you, can't, you cannot help someone if you're not whole yourself. Right. You can't pour mm-hmm. from an empty vessel you have to be full you you pour from the overflow so you have to be whole and healed and healthy you know all of those things before you can be beneficial to anyone else if you're broken and torn down and all of those type of things you're struggling you can't and you're not your full self you're not at 100 percent. you're not going to be able to help anyone else so um well that's totally get that uh, analogy that's the one of the purposes of the retreat is to help let us celebrate us individually and queens as a whole mm-hmm. um, everybody's not fortunate to have a group of queens you know everybody don't have me 
in their life. <laughs> Notice the moment of silence. <laughs> We're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I say that, you know, that's why the retreat is important. Because when I think about um, some things you touched on, Queen Ashanti and Queen Angela and Queen Monique, and what's funny about Queen Monique with her purse, that big old probably got babies in their purse. Um, sometimes instead of unpacking a purse, I'll switch purses. And it'll already have stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I never completely clean out of one thing to move into another. I just add what I need to move on, like Queen Angela said about that. What was it? Presentable clear? My purses, they some bad bags on the inside. Like, yeah, hot mess. Well, it's, it's really interesting that. Um, we're talking about unpacking these bags because honestly, I have had some bad I okay. it down with Take all this stuff um, and not, you know, he's heavy and like most of my purses, the traffic because the actual purse is so full of stuff. It's heavy. And I also realized that adjusting to the heaviness, heavy on my shoulder is, is causing aches and, and pains on that shoulder that I uh, prefer. And I just keep carrying it and carrying it and I keep adjusting to the added weight and adjusting to the added weight. And what's happening is I'm wearing out that part of my body because I'm just adjusting when I really should be uh, um, letting some things go, cleaning some things out, you know, you know, throwing some things away, but just adding on, I'm either tearing up the purse or breaking down my body. And so if you bring that back into the spiritual realm, we're not, we're carrying too much stuff. We're carrying too much stuff. We're loading down our, our, our proverbial sacks where it, it's no longer useful because it's tearing up. Or we're breaking down our temple because we weren't meant to carry that. We're we're trying to help everybody and save everybody. And it's good to want to help, but if you weren't led in that direction, if you were not given the commission to do that, you're out of order. And so right. you suffer the consequences, even though you think you're doing the right thing. But if you're doing the right thing outside of God's will, you're out of order mm. and that causes pain does that make sense yeah love that we all um and i want to go ahead and hand, hand the mic over to queen angela because queen ashanti gotta say you gotta save some of that for sunday when she done dropped out um go ahead queen angela that that was um that was powerful um one because as she was speaking all i thought about is how much we weigh ourselves down with all uh, our and our bodies get worn out because of what we are weighing ourselves down with but then the question also comes to what are you not willing to give up and then you got to ask yourself the question why do i not want to give that up because sometimes we like security blankets. And what about what will be different? How would my life be different? If um, I gave it up. If I gave it up. You know, and I think one of the things that, um, and if you could just talk about it a little bit, uh, uh, talk a little bit about the fear and then the anxiety that it creates. How many of us are walking around with anxiety? I know at one time last year, everything, the phone would ring, I would be nervous. You know, I mean, my anxiety level, and, and it was because of fear and worry. So, um, 
but you know, when you talk about those things about not giving up and why we might not want to give them up and how our life will be different, um, what about the, how does fear play a role in us carrying so much weight? Well, fear and anxiety are, um, you know, at, on top of guilt and shame are two, or I call them all my deadly sins. <laughs> <laughs> because they all play off of one, or of one another. And a lot of times what I do with people that have anxiety is we gotta go back and look at what is the root of that anxiety? What is causing that anxiety? A lot of times it's fear is a lot of, a lot of times is if I let this go and the thought of letting that go, then I don't know what I have if I don't have that thing that I'm so used to, to, to carrying. But you mm-hmm. gotta go the process of letting it go. And in that process, you gotta know that that anxiety is not always bad. Fear is not always bad. There is healthy fear, and then there's that fear that's gonna keep you trapped and stuck. So what we need to do is work through that fear of getting you unstuck and not allowing that anxiety. Uh, you know, we talk about, if you ever think about how your uh, I don't know how many of you all remember the wash tubs that your mom and, and your great grandmas and your grandmas had where they just threw all the clothes in the tub. Mm-hmm. Sometimes our anxiety is just like that. It's just wash tub full of things and then you gotta cipher through and figure out where it's all coming from. That means I gotta clean, I gotta wash my stuff. I gotta wash myself, I gotta cleanse myself in order to get to that that root issue, mm. I love that. And also, absolutely, I go. I think too about the bag that um, you know, being fearful of letting something go and wondering, well, what's going to happen to me, or what am I going to do if I let this go? That's like having extra stuff in the purse. You know, you might we might have two different types of combs and a couple of brushes in there. Well, I need this brush for this and I need this comb for this. Well, what happens if we let some of those go and we just have one of each or we just have one? You know, will we be okay? And chances are, yes, we'll be okay. You know, we don't- Part of that is, part yeah. of that is just stepping out into the fear and not allowing the fear to overcome you and overtake you. When once you try it and you see, oh, this is not bad at all. I can give up this cone. Yes, and it's but guess what? In my other hand, I got another cone. Right. Oh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Uh, you know, the way this picture is, right? Two cones and a This is. Oh my <laughs> lord. Queen lord. I want to ask you something because you you see a lot of women. Um, mm-hmm. Why is it you think? Because when we talked about you know as a retreat, you know we market and retreat trying to get women to understand they need the retreat. But one of the things that I find is like a lot of women don't understand that they need to take time for themselves. Why do you think they need to, and why do you think it's a problem? Mm. Well, we need to because that is a time you can sit back and do self-reflection. Um, that is a time you can sit back and say, ask yourself the questions, why? Why do I keep going? Why do I keep, why, why, do, why am I letting everything in life bother me? And until I actually get to that point of asking myself why, I don't make uh, I can't make a plan and change. So a lot of times too is people don't want to change. Say that. <laughs> say that, that. It's that simple. I I'm okay. They what they say is I'm okay with what I'm doing and where I'm at. If if something was wrong, I will feel it. And if I mm-hmm. don't feel nothing, then I don't have to change anything. Mm-hmm. But not mm-hmm. realizing that they're killing themselves, still killing themselves slowly internally. Yeah. Yep. Or either real quick, because we hear about the, the women having uh, strokes. Um, one yep. of our friends, Dr. Carmen, hit me to what one in three women die of heart disease. Mm-hmm. Um, you think about the strokes. You think about women you know, my age, you know, in their 40s or whatever and looking like they're in their 70s. 
and then on oh, because I beat him on Judge Judy behind foolishness. But <laughs> <laughs> and you could Lord have mercy. By coming to the retreat. <laughs> this is true. And I, I think too, going back to putting yourself first, when you think of the investment, the small investment that you're putting into yourself, um, there might be some women that want to go to the retreat, but it's like, oh, I got to use this for this. I got to use this to take care of this. Or I got to use this to take care of this person. You know, so-and-so needs a, a couple of new pair of Jordans. Like, really? Or a bar. Mm. Right. Exactly. Take that and spend it on yourself. You know, and I think it's hard sometimes learning how to put ourselves first. But that's one of the things. This investment is helping you to put yourself first. And the value that you're going to take away, the new you when you get back, and that queen has, I mean, that crown has been adjusted because we've all come together and worked together. Wouldn't even, that can't even match the, the investment and the time that you're putting in to, you know, be poured into and to pour into others. So. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and I think, and I think they need, it needs to be looked at and in that way, invest in yourself and understand that it is okay. That it's not a problem for you to invest in yourself. It doesn't make you a bad wife. It doesn't make you a bad mother. It doesn't make you neglectful. It doesn't make you any of those things to say, I have to do this for me. I come first because the bottom line is I cannot pour from an empty cup. If I've given out everything that I have, what else can I give? There's nothing left for me to give you to me, anyone. So I have to take time to, again, replenish what I gave out. Um, and and because I, I mean, from experience, there was a point in time where I would say, well, no, I can't do this because I felt like I was a bad mother if I thought about me. I thought that, you know, if, if I put me first, well, no, because my baby's here. And then I had to learn, um, you know, that hold on a second to take care of me is to take care of him because at the end of the day I, like again I have to I can teach him and pour from from myself into him give him the lessons I've learned teach him how to love himself teach him what it is to take care of yourself and and um, uh, Queen Angela hit on it earlier we say self-care we say these things it's not just getting your nails done I honestly believe self-care is it's it's spiritual first and mental it's spirit and mental first it's not anything but to, after those two everything else will fall in line but you've got to start right there because if you don't start there everything else around you is still going to show it everything else around you is not going to line up so you got to take that time to get away and it's a beautiful thing to me to be able to come together with like-minded women that all have the same purpose the same thought process i'm going to go get me me I have to get me me and you know and to understand that we all know that we all have struggles we're all we have weights that we're carrying we all have extra you know kitchen sinks in our purse like Monique we all have these things um, that we want to release and we're there to help each other there's no judgment there's no you know take off your makeup take just be barefaced and understand I'm among queens i'm amongst women that that see me that feel me that are with me in this fight and got my back yeah and, and with my eyebrows still on fleet <laughs> <laughs> we, we understand you still got to keep the eyebrows there take the lipstick off but the eyebrows have to stay we will deal with that we'll take that <laughs> and what what i'm hearing you say um is I got to set boundaries for myself. Absolutely. I got to, and I got to be okay with the boundaries I set for myself. That means I got to be okay with saying no. Mm. Yes. That word requires no explanation after it. And that's it. I tell people all the time, no is my favorite word. And I don't have to explain my no to you at all. <laughs> Period. Just put that on on the shirt that Shannon gonna give me for my birthday. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so, I mean, we talked a lot about the different weight women carry and why the retreat is is necessary. And the the whole part of the move 
meant of the move experience, the move retreat, is because queens move different. You know, um, like I said, you can go to business retreats with a whole bunch of women and everybody knows stop stuff up. Y'all talking about how many hashtags to use on Instagram. Um, or building a brand or building a business or you could just really take some downtime because I'm going to tell you when, when I take time for me it makes me a better business woman. Those are, those are facts. Mm -hmm. And that's what this retreat is about. You don't know who you may connect with who may say something you know that'll click with you on the other side if that makes sense we're all ingredients in this in this gumbo called life mm -hmm. i'm not talking about no store bought i'm talking about the kind my great grandmother used to make when she used to put their wrist to work hold on i gotta make sure my wrist in the camera <laughs> <laughs> so uh before we we close out uh queen monique gonna run down like one or two things that we're going to do and of course y'all going to see us go live again sometime soon about the retreat but go ahead queen monique i think um and just to to piggyback on what you said valencia about not knowing that you need the break and the self-care i think even for entrepreneurs for speakers for coaches um for you know small business owners What's important is that sometimes you get a little stuck in your business. Y'all don't see us go live again sometimes still about the retreat, but go ahead and clean on I think, um, and, and just to realize to back on what you said, Valencia, about this because there's something that you need to do, you know, internally to help move yourself forward. This retreat, and sometimes you invest in business coaches and, you know, brand specialists, but that might not be what you need. You might actually need a weekend like this to see, okay, I know what to do in business, but for some reason, I'm not doing it. So what is it internally that's stopping you? And I think with the group therapy, with self-awareness, um, and just the, the fellowship and networking, and like Shannon said, getting yourself right mentally and spiritually is going to definitely help you move forward in your business. Now, mm -hmm. we have a lot of fun things going on, but just to talk about a few, the pool party. Okay, we will be having a meet and greet pool party. Um, look, if you want to come um, in your bathing suit, or if you want to wear a cover up, for those of us that might be bikini ready, look, to each his own, whatever you feel comfortable in. Um, those that might want to do leggings and a t-shirt, what a, a nice sundress, whatever it is, we are going to have a good time. It's all about fellowship, it's all about networking, and it's all about having an opportunity to get to know each other. Um, that's gonna take place on Friday. Valencia, that is our uh, pool party. We have um, powerful, powerful, I'm gonna say conversations um, yeah, okay. that, that Shannon is going to be bringing to us in addition to um, LaVon, who's celebrating her birthday. Okay, one of our other queens who's not on with us tonight. Um, you know, Ashanti during our Fascinator Crown Breakfast, which is also, that's on Sunday, and there's also gonna be a Fascinator Crown Fashion Show. Well, those are just a few things that you have to look forward to um, during this fun build, I would say, um, you know, half weekend, where we're just, we're, we're ready. Like we keep, the more I talk about it, the more excited I get. Like I could start taking one of these bags. I could start packing today. Um, it's not gonna take me long because it's a lot of stuff already in the bags. I just have to grab one, but um, we're ready. We are ready, we're excited and we would love for everyone. I mean, look, this is for us. This is for the queen. So if you have not made a decision to attend, now's the time. For the fascinator uh, Sunday, um, look at me, I can't talk. I haven't had coffee since 2018, y'all know that, okay? But um, in case y'all wonder what the fascinator is, Google it. It's some side hat. Mm -hmm. And so I gotta make sure I have the appropriate wig. 
to where when I wear my side hat, I'm just saying, I'm going for a look. So y'all could Google that and wear your fascinator hat. Um, I don't plan on doing no sit-ups between now and then, so I won't have a bikini on. Me, hashtag me either. I have mine on two piece, <laughs> two piece, me please. I recommend people to come um come and spend some time with yourself come and spend some time with some other women and allow yourself to be free allow yourself to enjoy yourself this that weekend and just be your authentic self find or find your authentic self yeah Hashtag A to the men, Queen Shannon. Uh, it's, it's all been said. You just need to be there. Be there, be there, be there. I promise you, you, you one, you need it. Let's just be honest, you need it. But two, it is something that you'll never forget and it'll help set you on the path to always, to, to always understand that you need that time. It'll put you on a path of understanding quality time with yourself is a must to take you to the next level of your life so definitely definitely be there well folks I think seeing my tattoos is worth the price of admission (laughs) (laughs) listen I just don't know what to say (laughs) you know I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys cannot get to the move for uh, Find you somewhere because we are dying at alarming rates. This is where that serious side of Valencia, I know it scares me too when it come out. Um, but Google it. Uh, the rate of heart attacks and strokes and just miserable life to happen and if you don't learn anything from from me from the from the queens from any from the movie experience embrace your cake fly to find you queen angela if you don't learn anything else learn to put yourself first because guess what you kill yourself your husband gonna get another wife mm-hmm. and your kids gonna go on they gonna cry but they gonna go on and you're gonna be strengthened. This is true. It's true. With, with that being said, you guys can find out more by inboxing any of us. The link has been up there, but it's bit.link slash move retreat 2019. We look forward to seeing you queens there. Queens, it's not your time yet. Just slow the roll. Um I hope you guys took notes during the session and learned how to start considering ways to put yourself first and hopefully come see us at the move retreat with that being said pins and papers down class is officially over make sure you connect with queen monique queen angela and queen shannon and of course the find you radio shout out again to our sponsor swagger.net that wag her.net uh make sure you visit them for advertising and Things like that. It's a magazine that's been around for a while. I know the the owner. She's a dynamic queen herself. Um, tomorrow, I'm actually make sure you guys join us live back here, same time, same place, seven o'clock. We have a business strategist, marketing person coming on. Yeah, it's going to be a serious show. So this this show tomorrow is for my business note taker, eyeglass wearers. Until next time.
Remember, your past doesn't define you. It gives you definition. And what you do with that is up to you. See you at the move retreat.